Pública. Hello and welcome to Issues and Answers, a production of a government information service. I am your host for today, Geraldine Bissett Joseph. Now, tax season is upon us once more, and even though this is the filing of taxes is something that we do every year, it doesn't help to get a little guidance when needed. So today we are actually joined by two people who are going to offer us some guidance in the guise of Ms. Leslie Ann Modest, who is the Senior Tax Inspector at the Taxpayer Service Unit, yes. and also Ms. Delia Jabatis Terez, who is a tax inspector also yeah. at the taxpayer service unit yes okay so um, first of all th thank you for joining me today ladies. thank no you problem. for having us yes. okay <laughs> now very basic question to start why should individuals and companies file their tax return it's a statutory obligation of the state that you do so it's it's a affords you actually the, the the client to ensure that enough taxes have been deducted from your employee if you're an individual and, and when I speak to individual I speak to employee mm -hmm. and also somebody who may be a contractor and have done some work so you use that opportunity to file and pay if necessary the correct amount of tax okay all right now who should actually file their tax returns hmm. everyone who has a source of income, income. Okay. and when I say a source of income and and this is an ideal opportunity we speak to persons who are self-employed. Mm -hmm. Self-employed means you take care of yourself, you're a vendor, mm -hmm. you're a small business person, you're an entrepreneur, whether online or you know you have your small business set up, you're an employee, you're a contractor, you have a source of income, so you should file your tax returns. Okay. Um, what is the usual statutory date for filing tax returns for companies and individuals? March 31st for individuals mm -hmm. and individuals like I said speaks mm -hmm. to self-employed persons mm -hmm. and employees and companies three months after the end of their financial year okay so it's different so okay. a company's financial year end may be September so they have to they file their company returns December Oh, okay. But for those of us like you and me, mm -hmm. employees and self-employed persons, mm -hmm. it's and you can look at it as this: it's the calendar year. Mm -hmm. So January to December, twelve months, mm -hmm. three months after the end of the calendar year, March twenty-first, we have to file our returns. Okay. Now the funny thing is, I know that there is a specific day every year, but yes. if a company or even an individual, let's say, misses that date, is there any advice you can give them in regards to what they should do? All right. We know we may have a problem for one thing or another. It could be because you can't get your supporting documents. Mm -hmm. You have a right to apply for an extension of time mm -hmm. to file your returns at least a month or two weeks before. Mm -hmm. Not on March 31st. You come into Inland Revenue and apply for an extension of time. Now, you have to remember that when you apply for the extension of time, it's only applicable to filing the return, okay. not applicable to if there was, a, if you may have a liability on filing mm -hmm. that you have an extension to pay, mm -hmm. no, you're applying for an extension of time to file your tax return. Mm -hmm. You put it in writing and you state the reasons why, and you must do so in advance of the st the stipulated deadline date. Okay, all right, okay, that that helps because well, I it, guess it helps a lot yeah, of persons yeah, because yeah. you know sometimes. Um, the agency that you require the supporting documents for one reason or another, they aren't able to give it to you within a specific time. Mm -hmm. So you have that leeway. It's there in the law when it comes to extension of times. You have the right to apply for. It is not a verbal thing. Mm -hmm. It is not somebody calling on the telephone and saying, you know, I can't do this. I don't have that. So mm -hmm. I won't be able to know. It is documented by application and you get your response in writing from the department. Um, okay. Just to add to that. In the event or in the case where, let's say, someone have just missing one document, mm -hmm. you can still bring in your return. Mm -hmm. So you know it's, it was lodged on time. You bring in your return, and then later on you can drop into the come to the department and say, "I missed out this document. Or I was waiting oh, for this okay. document." Mm -hmm. We would stamp it, 
um, attach your number and everything, and then we'll assign it to your return when we get to your return. Okay. So we have had people in the past say that they're not bringing their returns because they're missing one document. Mm. And we advise them not to do that. You have all the other supporting documents, you can still bring in the return. Later on, you can bring in the supporting document. But bring it as soon as possible, because if by the time we're ready to assess it, mm -hmm. and it's not there, then it won't, we won't allow it. Okay. Understand? Right. So, right, you know, to, to put it in a nutshell, we really and truly as individuals, we have no reason why not. To file your returns on time. File your returns. Get your supporting documents. You have um, 90 days, more or less, mm -hmm. from the beginning of the year to get all your supporting documents mm -hmm. and to file your returns. Okay, brilliant. Now, you've, we've touched on documents. What, yes. what kind mm -hmm. of supporting documents are usually asked for in regards to filing of taxes? The first thing is your income. You must get from your employer your income for the prior year. So we doing this year is 28, um, 2017 mm -hmm. you're filing. Mm -hmm. By now, your employer should have given you what, it, what is called a TD-5. A TD mm -hmm. So for government employees, it's P11. a P-11. For the private sector, it's a TD-5. Mm -hmm. In the absence of that, the employer can, on an official letterhead of the company, put your total remuneration for the year, how much NIS was um, deducted from you, how much taxes were paid by you, your NIC number, your tax account number if they know, and their, mm -hmm. em their employer number. Mm -hmm. Stamp it, sign it, and you use that as your source of income. Oh, if so you are self-employed, mm -hmm. you have to have attached your income and expenditure for your business operations throughout the course of the year. You also need if you have a child going to um, a, a relative, really, higher education is a relative mm -hmm. who attends university and you are the one who are putting them through that, mm -hmm. you need to get from the university a letter indicating that the individual was there full time mm -hmm. plus proof of expenditure paid. That could mean your tuition, mm -hmm. your lodging, mm -hmm. anything associated to that individual attending full time university. Mm -hmm. Life insurance medical insurance, the statements from the respective institutions, approved pension funds, retirement savings plans, the certificates from the institutions. Mm -hmm. The financial institutions I know are ready and willing with your mortgage interest statements, mm -hmm. credit union habits, your um, house insurance statements. If perchance you are one of the persons who are paying alimony mm -hmm. uh, under deed of, of divorce or decree, you must have that information house tax paid during the year mm -hmm. you must have your receipts um if you are given what is called a travel allowance you use your vehicle to do company mm -hmm. um, business during the course of the year mm -hmm. you must have attached a completed travel form mm -hmm. which is available on our website and hard copies available from our department mm -hmm. the employee must have this filled out by themselves and their employee and stamped and provided to us. If you, during the course of the year, you are part of the Ministry of Agriculture's Hobby, Hobby Farming Certificate Program, mm -hmm. you get that certificate from the Ministry of Agriculture, you're allowed to claim that. If you, in your community, you come together mm -hmm. and you uh, mm -hmm. provide um, your materials, your finance, you finance your road, mm -hmm. that is monitored and administered by the Ministry of Infrastructure, you get the certificate and you can claim these things. So we have lots of allowances okay. and deductions, mm -hmm. but we appeal to you mm -hmm. to have the supporting documents. Now, some individuals do not have medical insurance. Mm -hmm. You come, come with, but don't include in mm -hmm. all your bills, okay. all your receipts for mm -hmm. your medical. There is no limit to medical, mm -hmm. but you must have the original medical bills for okay. you to claim and you add it all up. Mm -hmm. Those of us who don't take loans for our mortgage on our home, don't have a, a, a loan for our home improvements or renovations, mm -hmm. however, you expend it out of your own funds to do those things. Right. You provide us for upkeep and maintenance of your home, a detailed description of the work done. Okay. That must be in your tax return for us to allow you the claim. So right now, this is the time, January, February, prior to March 21st, this is the time for us to gather all the information that we need mm -hmm. in order to file a correct and true tax return. 
Okay, brilliant. So obviously what we hinted on there is there's many deductions that can actually be made. Definitely. So it really is vital that everybody gets yes. collects their documents yes. and, and make sure they get down Just and, and to add taxes. to what Lesian said, the tithing. If you pay in tithe too, you, mm -hmm. you need to get a deed of covenant, mm -hmm. which has to be for three mm -hmm. years, and you need your copy of that. We need the original again, and we need the, the copy of your receipt for payment. Okay. As to the TD5s, if you, again your employer doesn't have the the original form from Inland Revenue and they give you to you on your letterhead. Other um, allowances, like if they gave you meal allowance or if they gave you telephone allowance, all these things have to be stated on that form also. Okay, well thank you very much, but we're yes. going to just take a short break right now and we're going to be back in a moment. Small household electrical appliances, when faulty, can give rise to big problems. If you have just purchased a small appliance from a store and you are concerned about the safety of the item, an appliance has been at home for some time subjected to wear and tear from regular usage, have it tested by the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards. It is better to be safe than sorry. For more information, contact the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards at 456-0546 or email slbs at candw.lc or visit the website at www.slbs.org.lc. St. Lucia Bureau of Standards, making quality and standards our way of life. Welcome back to Issues and Answers. I am Johnny B. St. Joseph. Now, as stated before, we are talking today about filing of taxes as we are in tax season again. Again, let me just reintroduce my guests, Ms. Leslie Ann Modest and Delia Jabatis Terez, who are both from the Taxpayer Service Unit. Um, now, e filing. That's something that has been, you know, talked about a lot now, but people are still kind of unaware of maybe how to go about filing their taxes online, online. and such like, uh, such like. So first of all, can you just tell us a little bit about what exactly is e-filing? Okay. E-filing is an online program where you become an e-user, you have a username assigned to you, you log in, and through, through that program you can do everything you can do on uh, at the, the department, you'll be able to do it apart from applying for a clearance letter, <laughs> mm -hmm. but you'll be able to file, you'll be able to pay, you'll be able to browse in your account to see what's, uh, what's updated, what's not updated. Mm -hmm. And with e-filing, like I tell clients, there's a lot more security and assurance and um, records in the, with the e-filing because everything you do is um, there's a time and a date recorded to it. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. So that's one of the reasons that that method should be used. But are there any other methods that you think are uh, very, you know, that, that are of uh, advantage to um, any kind of um, taxpayer? Um, yes. March 31st, when we close at 4.30, mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. With e-filing, you have, like I keep saying, you have until 11.59.59 oh, okay. <laughs> on March 31st okay. to file. Oh. So you can do it, you can go home, have a shower, mm -hmm. relax with your mm -hmm. bottle of wine <laughs> at your convenience and you file your returns. Mm -hmm. okay. and, I, and, it's very, and I find it's very user friendly. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have um, problems in doing the calculations part mm -hmm. and the system, the, the network, it just does that for you. All you do is just press one little button and mm -hmm. all that is done for you. Okay. How would I go about, for instance, if I wanted to become an e-user, how would I go about actually becoming okay. one? To become an e-user, you, you just have to go to the site, mm -hmm. https colon forward slash forward slash mm -hmm. e-filing, that's e-f-i-l-i-n-g mm -hmm. dot g-o-v-t dot l-c. The minute you log into that screen, you will see a screen saying it has username, password, login, and has register user. If you're not a user at that point, you click on register user. Mm -hmm. When you do that, your uh, uh, some fields will, will come up which you have to fill out basic information like your name your social security number and so forth but um like i tell people before we even start that process we have to make sure that you have the updated browsers mm -hmm. which is internet explorer firefox google chrome okay. or um yeah, i think uh, or um yeah i think that's yes. it Apple and Macs, we don't use those. Okay. Advise you if you have any of these, these won't be applicable. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, again, you need a scanner, mm -hmm. or like we say, iPhones now. Yes. We can use your iPhone because you need to have your ID scanned or your documents. Okay. All right. 
So upon registering, you have your, we want to see your, your picture ID, is your ID card, mm -hmm. or your driver's license, or passport, not selfies, not pictures of your pets, mm -hmm. or your dogs, mm -hmm. we've had those. We've had those. Oh gosh. So, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. we need you to attach that, well, you will see it on the application where you have attachments, and so forth, you attach it, and then you click. Mm -hmm. After you request and make sure everything is okay, it takes eight working hours. Mm -hmm. Within eight working hours, you should get some response mm -hmm. from taxi filing. Mm -hmm. We ask you to check, uh, again, make sure you have a proper email account, mm -hmm. Gmail. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we had a few issues with Hotmail, but I think it's working now. Okay. Uh, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, um, UK, CO, <laughs> whatever it is, yeah. you try it out. Mm -hmm. When you click on that link, you will, it will take you automatically to your email. Basically, mm -hmm. you get something in your email. Okay. All right. You click on the link. Mm -hmm. At that point, the administrator will approve you or reject you. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. So, but is there anything really required? Well, you kind of touched on um, a lot of it. You know, you know, make sure that you have your um, uh, some source of ID and such like. Yes. But is it the same thing? Just make sure you have all your documents and whatever all your yes. to, to put through one time. Yes. yes. Yeah? Okay. Brilliant. Now, um, how long after should an individual get a response in regards to when they register? Like I said, it takes eight working hours. Mm -hmm. After eight working hours, if you haven't received, again, I would tell people to check their inbox, check their spam or their junk, because I noticed that some people, they get the mail in their spam okay. or their junk mail. Mm -hmm. So always check. Within eight working hours, you don't receive a link from tax e-filing, mm -hmm. you have to contact the department. Okay. All right? Okay. Uh, we know there are internet issues. Sometimes mm -hmm. the internet runs slow mm -hmm. and stuff, but we ask you to wait eight working hours. Okay. Well, something that I know people might be wondering, though, is can payments actually be done online? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's why I said you don't have to come in. Okay. All right? Okay. After you, you, well, you're approved. You get mm -hmm. your username and mm -hmm. you use the password that you place in your application. It's not mm -hmm. the password that we assign to you. Mm -hmm. All right. After you log in, you'll be able to file your returns. You'll be able to, like I said, make your payments. Mm -hmm. Everything can be done on that database. Okay, brilliant. Now, if we don't, people who don't go the e way, yes. I know that, for instance, um, in recent years, there was a lot of different stations around. Would that be the case again this year? Yes. Helping people, just in yes. case people need some guidance, that one-on-one yes. -on -one kind of. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about that? We have, in our offices, we have offices throughout St. Lucia. So mm -hmm. if you're in the south, you go to our before tax service center. In the Dye building, mm -hmm. if you're in Sufra, you go to our agent sub-agency there. Mm -hmm. In Cacheries, we are at the financial. We have a large and medium unit at the financial center third floor mm -hmm. you can get go there for assistance but that's specific to filing time so March tax season our large and medium unit is available if you don't have forms and the forms are not only e mm -hmm. you have we still have because e is new it is not new to us but mm -hmm. it's still relatively new to a lot of our, of our clients right. so you can still get the paper mm -hmm. um, returns the blank ones or you go to our website if you're electronically inclined and mm -hmm. there is a form which you can download and input the information, it calculates it, print it, attach your supporting documents and mm -hmm. come in. You can also come to our main office, which is at the Heraldine Rock building mm -hmm. during filing time. Both offices are on our th first and third floor. We render assistance there and at our property tax valuation office, which is located in Sunny Acres. Mm -hmm. So March, it's all hands on deck for inland revenue staff. Mm -hmm. um, we are always available. You can call, you can come in, you can email customer service at ird.gov.lc mm -hmm. and pose your questions. We're, we're there for you. Like our slogan says, we're there to serve. And so don't have a question. Don't have a doubt. Don't hesitate to call. Call us and we're there to answer your questions. What we also want to tell our clients is don't come to us with a blank form. Okay. Please put in your personal details mm -hmm. in the front and page one and two of the tax returns. That is your business. We will guide you with everything else. Mm -hmm. But right, please sign the form. Okay. You know, these are basic things that we can do at home if we have in some challenge. Mm -hmm. We also have in place for persons who 
have incomplete records and that goes specifically to self-employed individuals and mm -hmm. they're not sure mm -hmm. during this month we encourage those persons to come in and we can set up from our customer service front and tax -based services unit we set up audit interviews and you have the conversation with our auditors who will provide the guidance to you so that next year you really don't need us you know it's easy for you to come in and do so mm -hmm. but we encourage persons to do this now don't wait last minute to do so okay. it's filing time get let's get it right let's work together to get it right okay now ladies i know this might sound like you know impossible but we've actually run out of time so <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you so much for coming in this is vital information for everybody believe me even for someone like myself <laughs> who, who tries to make sure she gets it done as, right. as much as possible so thank you for joining us thank you for the tips and the guidance and also thank everybody out there for tuning in and watching issues and answers that's it for today however bye-bye for now <laughs>